from beautiful Camp Cunnawingo, and welcome to another fantastic and interesting episode of our GSCM STEM Month video series. I'm so glad you guys are joining me because today it's all about you all, the viewers, and how you can get more involved in our STEM series right now, today. So for those of you who don't know, right here at Camp Cunnawingo, we're actually trying to integrate one of the areas of STEM, the science area, more into our camp experience. Now we already do tons of great things at camp like nature time and even a STEM period, but again, we're trying to make our entire camp a little bit more green and environmentally friendly. Now one way that we're doing that is by building our very own recyclable greenhouse. Now some of you might not know what that is, but it's actually a plant greenhouse that helps to produce plant life, but it does so by using recyclable materials two liter soda bottles to be in fact. Now, some groups from our encampment have actually started our recyclable greenhouse, but we really need your help to make sure that this project is a success. Our recyclable greenhouse is actually going in right across the street from where I'm standing near our archery courts. And it's gonna be a great way for Camp Conowingo to be a little bit more green and environmentally friendly. So what we need from you is for you and your troop to start collecting two liter soda bottles. It'll be a great way to make sure that our project gets done and we get to have wonderful, beautiful fruit and plant life available year round at our awesome campsite. So if you and your troop are interested in helping out with this project, for more information, please email me below at the email address, stem at gscm.org. I'll be sure to give you all the information and details you need to make sure that you get involved with this really great project. Now, if you and your troop are looking for more ways to learn about our environment, a really great project you can do with your troop is to make greenhouses that are a little bit smaller and that are sustainable through the winter. It's really easy and you only need a couple materials. A PDF on how to do this is also located in the description below, so please make sure you check that out as well. Keep getting out there, making things green, and exploring our beautiful planet until next time. Have a great week, everybody.